Hello, we're going to look at the symbology in the uh, ArcMap table of contents as it applies to the InfoSwim layers. So here we have our table of contents over here. On top we normally have the InfoSwim layers and then at the bottom we have our um, other, other uh, GIS data like the uh, load areas, meters, parcels, etc. So if you want to change the colors, so for example if we have soils here, turn off the soils, turn it back on, we go to properties and we can change the color of the properties by changing the color ramp. So we'll come over here and we'll, we'll change the color ramp here, apply it. Here's our soils A, B, um, A, B, C, and D. Apply. And now we have a different color here. We can also do the same thing with any of the um, other data, for example, sidewalks, roads. Just turn off the soil so you can see that, so you can see that information in the back. So the key is you look at the data, either symbology, using some, the ArcMap symbology, or open the attribute table, and you can see what that is. So for example, if we wanted to know the different shape areas, we could um, do a, a sort by hydrocode. We can find the um, statistics for the area, get a nice bar chart. Or we can have perimeter, and um, basically um, InfoSwim is a nice tool to run inside of Esri ArcGIS because it 